Week two of All In. I don't want to run, but I'm gonna run anyway. She's got to tick them off sometimes. Sometimes after 10 or 15 minutes, you can find a groove and start to feel smooth. Not today. <laughs> feel absolutely awful. Legs are absolutely trash stuff on the race, but it is what it is. Um, I knew that a race would bash me up a little bit because I haven't done any of that sort of intensity. So I'm going to cut this run a little bit short. I'll do 30 or 40 minutes and um, see how they feel tomorrow. Half an hour done, 8.50 in a mile. Um, legs don't feel great, but that's okay. I'll get the massage gun out later, work on them a little bit, hopefully help the recovery. Come back tomorrow. Uh, well, I was going to do a session tomorrow. Very controlled session, but still a session. Um, but we shall see, see how they feel in the morning. Maybe I'll do the warm up and if it's not ready, I'll just make the warm up uh, turn into a easier run. And I'm just glad that I got out and did a run rather than just sit there and think about it. So, uh, sometimes you just gotta go out and do it rather than dwell on how it's gonna feel. Yes, it felt awful, <laughs> but yeah, I feel a lot better mentally again. I think I made the right call. So I didn't bother doing a warm up and doing my session. I made hopefully the smart call and I've come out on the trails to enjoy this beautiful scenery. Sun's shining, it's just perfect. I think it's really important to listen to your body and to adjust, adjust the plan at, at, at any time in the schedule, but especially if you're coming back from injury. So yeah, I've been to the session and I'm doing easy miles instead and it's absolutely lush. And uh, I'll rejig my week. I'll have a look at my week. Actually, my legs aren't feeling too bad. I might have been able to get away with the session. But why work with might, eh? Like, if my calf is slightly tight, take a day, take two days. Like, these easy miles are gonna get me fit anyway, so I don't need to rush things. So here I am on these beautiful trails, ticking off some miles, listening to a podcast, and yeah. I'll uh, think about doing a session on Wednesday or Thursday. We're running through the woods and then I just hear <laughs> there's two baby four shot past me. So it scared me a little, mainly because I know mother boar or daddy boar could be anywhere around here. And uh, I'm not sure they want me near the baby boar. Oh no, they were grown here now. I love this trail though, it's so good. Seven miles down on the trails. Slight little pick up in the last 800 meters or so. Uh, it was a slight downhill, so I just got the legs turning over. Felt really good. And we carry on this all-in journey. Grinding out the miles even when I don't feel good. Give me two months. Give me two months, I'll be fit. Steady double to finish Tuesday. So a bit of a change of plan. I'm signed up for the Under Armour All Out Mile and I was gonna do it on Thursday or Friday at the track, but circumstances have changed so I can't make it to the track. So instead, I've come to one of the official events with Under Armour to race a mile tonight in London. I've just got off the train and this is gonna be like nothing I've ever done. It's a road mile. It's finishing in like Graffiti Alley, Graffiti Arches, Tunnel, I don't know what they call it. It's on Leak Street. But yeah, I'm really excited, a bit nervous. And yeah, all in for the all out mile. So I wouldn't normally do something like this, um, but it's global running day and the opportunities come up. So I thought, you know, why not? It'd be a lot of fun, race a mile, my competitive side out. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it, a, give it a shot. So this is your chance, get down in the comments and predict my time. You might already know, but predict my time in a road mile against other runners that are probably gonna absolutely school me and we'll see who gets the closest. There's no prize, but it's a bit of fun. Like energy in the room is getting me really excited to go all in, all the 
smile. It's gonna be good. That was so much fun. I absolutely love that. So we were racing around the streets. We're doing like three laps, uh, like past cafes, past pubs, like just normal people out on the streets cheering us. Uh, I went out way too hard. I tried to stick with the leaders and blew up hard on the second lap. But yeah, loved it. Hung on for about 5.02, I think. Would have been nice to dip five, but I'll take it. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, a good line in the sand of my current fitness and something completely different. Like sprinting down through this tunnel at the end was just incredible and I loved it. I'm out on the trails. It's 10 miles easy today. Yesterday, I did very little to be honest. I uh, went out with Kelly for her Under Armour All Out Mile. But other than that, didn't go out for another run. So it's like five miles easy for me. Um, yeah, just felt a bit banged up from the mile the day before. So just took it easy. But today we're back on it, trying to get some volume in. So 10 miles this morning, and hopefully if I feel good, a double later. As we start to try and build that volume and continue to condition the aerobic system, but also remind the legs that they've got a lot of running to do over the next few months with some big goals. Today, basically, as soon as I got home, Kelly was going out. So I've decided to join her for her easy miles. We brought Harry in the buggy, so I don't even call it run two, it's just... Oh, a thanks. No, but it's a continuation of run one, really, isn't it? Because mm. I've had, like, what, five minutes in the house getting a drink? Coffee. So, yeah, just back at it. So, we're going to do about five. So, it almost makes my morning run a 15 miler. It's platy jubes. <laughs> she made me put the camera back on because she wanted to say platy jubes. I can't stop saying it. I'm going around and just going, I guess platy jubes. And I know it winds some people up. Platinum Jubilee or platy jubes. It's a pretty cool weekend, right? Which is why we stopped here, so Kelly can get a photo next to some bunting. <laughs> oh dear, but they're setting up in the park for some sort of event later, which looks pretty cool, so maybe we'll come down and celebrate. I know it's not Union Jack Palace. It's not the right flag though. It's not the Union flag, it's... The Queen's meant to be British. She's either the British or she's not. It's Saturday morning, and today I'm going to do a session. I'm going to do the session I was going to do earlier in the week. You ended up doing the mile hard instead. Um, so it's going to be five times a mile with a minute recovery, and it's going to be done at that sub-threshold intensity, which is very controlled. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, I'll do it to heart rate and feel, but hopefully it'll come a little bit faster than the last week, which was four times a mile, but we'll see. Um, just building the volume of the session a little bit, but just all very controlled right now. Headwind, so pace it, I'm doing back, out and back, so the paces will differ, but it's all about getting that effort right. Don't chase the pace, just nail into that effort. 601 for the first one, really nice. I think I actually undercooked it a little bit because I had a tailwind heart rate didn't get as high as I would have liked but I'd rather do it too controlled than the other way around and tip over the edge and go higher in the threshold. We're going all in! Come on! 605 and I'm absolutely loving this. Train barriers are down, recovery's coming to an end. I'm gonna have to change course. I've got 20 seconds. 
Oh, the battery is going to go up. I'm going to have to turn around. Oh, I hate it when this happens. At least it didn't happen mid wrap. Right, time to turn. Trapped. This barrier has come down as well. Two barriers. I don't know where to run. I have to turn again. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I can escape! I said I 601! It's all Yes, come on! And I'm really starting to feel more like myself. Really enjoyed that. So 10 miles done in total, really happy today. Wasn't sure if I was gonna just do a steady run or do the session. Really glad I went with the session because I felt like I got into a nice rhythm. I felt like fitness has gone, has improved a little bit. And yeah, it just felt really good. Put me in a really good mood for the rest of the day. And happy with how this week's gone. Try and get a really easy long run down on the trails tomorrow to cap off a really decent week. And some progress from last week, which is, which is good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get immediate progress but it seems like I have and now I just have to build as we go forward and try and get this sub 15 minute 5k. Uh, lots of people are probably wondering why is he not just doing hard sessions, 5k work? Uh, it's not my approach, I'll be doing a lot more sub threshold work and trying to improve my general aerobic fitness and my threshold as I move towards the 5k. I'll do some race pace stuff closer to the time but right now it's all about building. Hey, run day, long run on the trails. Just going to keep it easy, 15 miles, uh, listen to a podcast and tick off the rest of the week. It'll take it to about 60 miles and yeah, really happy with how the week's gone. I love these trails. This forest is so good. But yeah, these long runs are going to keep hilly, off-road and just build strength and endurance. Very lucky to have this route on my doorstep and I'm going to try and utilise it. I used to just do all my long runs on the flat and I've realised what a mistake that was and how much I enjoy getting out on the trails and how, how strong it makes me and that pace doesn't really matter it's all just about getting the training effects so here I am enjoying my Sunday long run ending a really decent week. Come on bead! Big game for us tonight can we make the World Cup? <laughs> Haven't been in it since 1958 come on Wales! 14.8 miles done, 8.15 a mile, which is actually fairly steady on that terrain. Um, picked it up a little bit in the second half, but yeah, still an easy long run. And yeah, enjoyed it, a good week, happy with it. Just got to keep on ticking off the weeks, building the volume and um, trying to do a little bit of intensity, but not too much as I build back and get aerobically fit and strong on the hills. And hopefully that'll translate to a fast 5k down the line. Um, I will do some race pace stuff, but not, not yet.